So, I mean, I will say, as for when it comes to research, you have resources. If they want to make sure the amount of money they spend on police here, they literally could have taken a brick wall and built a brick wall around this whole entire thing to prevent people coming at less the cost. But they're not. Because they would still break the brick wall down. I mean, assuming. Assuming you still have people looking for sledgehammers and. Yeah, you know, whatever things. This is that one. <laughs> if you are not gonna have somebody living in their arm while renovating it, you are going to lose a lot of money. You can put the best alarm system you want in there. It doesn't mean anything. Well, that's why I've when, when had some people in my building for security, but then they went and said, oh, you're at home with people, they can't go and be in there, and then they go and... Uh, they seal up the building and cut all the electric. And I'm saying, if I leave it empty, then it's, the building's gonna be overrun. I need to have a presence in the building. Otherwise, there's no way that it won't just be occupied. You know, but then they start going and going, you know. That's how it all started. They boarded up the building because... Yeah. I hear what you're saying. This is something you need to also, if you ever considering about buying property. I own, I own 900 properties in Philly and 100 in Kensington. All right. sidewalk here and then a fire up there and you know they're burning shit. A lot of them they'll be in a, in a metal container burning burning the fire. Too. Yeah, like trash bins. So when it's like 40 when it's like 40 it's, uh, 30, 30 degrees out or 18 degrees out or 20 degrees outside here. You got these people sitting around a, a can. Freezing their ass off code blue and so need they're to using, they're using the fire to keep warm. Yeah. So we get we get the order go down the ave and call fire board to put these fires out. out. Will they or they won't so because the fire they... will come out, fire board comes out and they're pissed because they're like, yo, you calling us all night long to come out and put a fire that's in a, in a metal that's contained on the, cor on the corner. Yeah, the homeowners complain they got a fire out front, but here's the deal. The fire board comes out, they put the fire out. Mm -hmm. And then they dispose, they, 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 they get the metal container they had it and they take it. Yep. So now instead of a metal container, they're putting the fire just on the sidewalk and they're burning the trash. Now wind can blow that around and it can go and catch a building and actually catch real fires. So now then you got guys who will get a shopping cart, put, put trash in a shopping cart, burn it in the shopping cart. Because then if, then, then if it gets that bad, they can move and take the shopping cart and get out of Dodge before the fire board gets there. So we get all these fires. So do you think the fires should be put out? Or do you think that if they're contained in a metal container, they should be allowed to use them for warmth because it's a better option of That's what they're going to do afterwards? Better, it's a better option than them going into an abando, starting a fire in the abando, and then burning down three houses on the block of people. Because they dip out. Because somebody was dipping out out here around a fire, and they dipped out, and they fell over, and they burnt their face because they were high. Yeah. So now we got to go around and put all their fires out when it's cold, cold blue. And pretty much, not only that, fire boards dumping water onto a street is going to turn into a machine of ice. Yep. Try to make and then not only that, then the homeowner who reported them, they have a slip and fall and they end up getting sued because of that ice. When you look at this stuff, you say to yourself, how does this make sense? Why are we doing this? Just like why is there a 24 hour surveillance over it's, a sealed up like building? It's like Saturday night when they come, when, when, when there's all these people down there, when there are all these people down there on Aramingo Ave, right? Shut down in 95. Don't let anybody in or out unless they show their ID that they live there. Except for Pennsylvania is not a stop in ID state, so they can't do that. But it's literally, it's, it's to a point In a, in a theory, I understand. It's, it's, you're violating a certain level of rights. Well, but how, do you, how do you not let people out, though? No, you let them out. 
I thought you said don't let them in or out. Okay, that. Yeah. Because you gotta do something. Can you imagine Kensington as a private gated community? <laughs> oh, well, it, it, it already pretty much is. It's just not gated. Well. It's gated with human, with human beings. They are the gate. They are the moving shield around this community. They're what keeps the crime alive and going. So, if and the clientele here died, the cartel would have a problem. They would, which which is why it doesn't make sense to me when they start putting things in xylazine in there. Let's the damage. Let's keep Narcan in there. Let's keep them alive and well, so they can keep coming back and buying the drugs. What are your thoughts about safe injection sites? Uh, it's uh, definitely. the problem exists you don't want to create into a neighborhood and bring and people into agreed the problem isn't right there no you want it to be on a commercial corridor you want it to be in an areas where there's already where people are walking access to well because the big argument is oh they work they work they work no they don't not they, people go oh well they work in Canada. Well, once again, it's a definition of what working is. It's going from a negative eight to a negative four. Is that working or is that a failure? Well, 